Hey guys, Smooth Comics here, back at with another comics versus manga video. I want to talk about why anime pops out. If you watch an anime fight, one thing you notice about the fight scene is that the characters, well, they pop out. It looks like it looks like they're jumping off the screen. Now. Dragon Ball initially popularized this thing. Anime's always been doing this, but Dragon Ball really took this to a new level when it comes to fight scenes. The characters were just leaping off of the screen. Of the screen. At the time, nobody's really seen anything like that before. That's the talent of Akira Toriyama. How he can make things pop. Now, we here in the West, we're not really big on things popping out the screen. I remember there was this whole 3D phase that happened over in the I think 80s or 90s that never really went anywhere. The whole 3D phase make it made a resurgence in the 2010s, I believe. But in general, we here in the West, we're just not really big on things popping out at you. Oh, it looks like it's jumping out at you. And in the West, we're just not really big on that now. In, in, the, in the East, they're really good at that. They specialize in that. That's a talent that they have to make things pop out the screen. That's a talent that the East has when it comes to anime and stuff. And this is no. This is especially noticeable when it comes to fight scenes. Like I said, we here in the West, not really big on that. Now, as for how the fight scenes are going to go in Switch to Gender Ninja, I'm going to keep things American style. We live in the West. I have to appease a Western audience. I don't mind having a little reference to something here or there. But for the most part, we live in the West. Like when you see this, the the next, the big three also had massive moments like this where the, the art looks like it's jumping off panel, and we're just not super big on that over here. And uh, in the West, we're just not big on that. Now, nowadays, there are, and Western comics have been influenced a lot by anime in recent years. You'll notice that a lot of American products kind of look a little bit more like anime-ish. I think that style is really fun. The anime style is really fun to work off of. See, in the West, we like things almost semi-realistic. You see that in the comic books. Of course, it's got its fair share of exaggeration and stuff. But you'll notice a semi-realism when it comes to characters and stuff. I know a lot of you guys really like anime. But we live in the West. I'm going to make Switch Gender Ninja for a Western audience. I think superhero, in fact, anime has kind of hurt the reputation of superheroes because they're so cool, they're so flashy with the fight scenes that people look down. Some people, some pseudo-intellectuals, when they get into anime, they start to say, oh, anime is better than anything we have over in the West. Come on, please, be real. The West has plenty of awesome fights. You've seen Batman vs. Superman, that animated, and mid-one, amazing. 
Just because it doesn't pop out the screen doesn't mean that it's not good. I'm just tired of people putting anime on this big pedestal when it doesn't need to be there. Okay, if you look closely at the Dragon Ball art style, it actually has a lot of the properties of traditional cartoonism. That's how they get, they're so good with the squash and stretch in their fight scenes. Like, if you look at Goku's hair, Goku's hair is constantly changing positions. The spikes go in one way, you look at it from another angle, it goes another, just like Mickey Mouse's ears. He's like, if you're watching this, please just stop saying that all oh, anime is better than comics. No, they're just different. We're not big on pop-up art. We're not big on pop-up art. And that's why anime doesn't jump out you. It's not... That's what I know. Mean. Comics don't jump out you because we're not fans of the whole jumping off the panel. They, they utilize certain squash and stretch elements in order to make that pop-out effect. We're not big on that here. That doesn't mean that we're lesser or we're not as cool. It just means that we do things a bit differently. Anybody who says that anime is better than anything we have in the States is a troll. Now, nowadays, I can understand because Western comics have really gone down the hill in recent years. So to make that claim nowadays, I understand. Just don't be a free control trying to say the Western comics are completely better. Because let's be honest, Western comics, we're just as good as them. We just do things a bit differently. When you look at Western comics at their best, go to go to a comic, go to a comic shop and buy one of those old comics. Go over, in fact, just watch Linkara's videos on some because he does review good and bad comics. You see the art, it doesn't the colors pop out. But just because the characters aren't jumping at you doesn't mean that they're not bad. So, see you guys there. Tell me what you think below.